Hey YouTube, it's Erica Crouppen with Crouppen's Poopin' Scoopin' and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to answer my business phone and how I think a business phone should not be answered. So if you are interested in seeing that, stay tuned. All right, so this video is actually a request that I got through Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there. I'll include my link down in the description. We have these devices in our hands all the time, you guys. We have cell phones in our hand. And a lot of us communicate via text message these days, but proper phone etiquette is extremely important when you're running a business. Now this is going to be a role play. I don't actually have anybody calling me right now and the ringtone, it's really, it's really just an alarm that's going to go off here in like 10 seconds. Action. All right, let me set the stage. I'm at home. I'm working on some estimates on Jabber, my CRM and my phone rings. I don't really want to answer it, but I'm going to. Crouppen's pooping, scooping. Erica speaking. Yes. Yes, this is the dog waste removal company. Yeah, I can give you a quote over the phone. That's not a problem. Do you have a couple couple minutes? Because I have some questions to ask you. I'm like about five. All right. Perfect. First, what city do you live in? Canton. Perfect. We service the Canton area, typically on Mondays. How many dogs do you have? You have two. One big, one small. Okay, are they aggressive by any chance? Nope, no aggression, all right, perfect. How big is your yard? Would you say that it's less than or more than a quarter of an acre? Oh, you're not, you're not really too sure? Would you say you have a big big backyard or a small backyard? Maybe you could fit like a trampoline and a pool and, oh, you can't fit any of that, it's a smaller backyard? All right, and how long has it been since the last clean? Would you say a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months? You're not really too sure you don't remember okay no that's not a problem no worries uh, my next question is what are you looking for are you looking for just a one-time clean or are you looking for a weekly service we offer weekly and bi-weekly bi-weekly means every other week and then we also offer multiple times a week if you're located in Westland Canton or Garden City all right so you're just looking for for a weekly all right so there's gonna be two there's gonna be two prices here the first clean is going to be priced higher because there is buildup and so basically what's gonna happen is is we're gonna come we're gonna remove all that waste and get it set up for the weekly and that is going to be eighty dollars eight zero and that's a one-time fee does that sound good okay and then for the weekly scoop, I charge per month, and that's typically billed on the first of the month, and that's going to be $70 for the month, and we come one time a week. That's correct. So $80 for the first clean, because there's a lot of poop that we have to remove. And then the following week, we will start the weekly service. Does that sound good to you? All right, perfect. No, there's no need to be em embarrassed. That's what we're here for. We're here to take care of this for you. All right, perfect. Do you have any other questions? No? All right. Welcome to the KPS family and I can't wait to start servicing your property. All right, you have a good day too. All right, bye. All right, so that's a smooth one. Everything went really smooth. There was no issues. They were happy with the price, uh, but sometimes they're not happy with the price. And that's how this goes. All right, so that first clean is going to be $80, eight zero. What's that? Oh, why, why is it higher? It's higher due to the amount of waste that's back there. That clean's gonna take us a lot longer and we wanna make sure that we do a thorough clean to get your yard set up for the following week when we start weekly service. Oh, yeah, uh, no, we don't, we don't, uh, offer, no, we don't offer that if you sign up for a weekly service. Nope, that's not one of our specials. Well, 
one of our competitors offer it. No, I totally understand. If you decide that you want to go with them, I completely understand. But our, our fee for the first time clean is $80. All right. Yeah, if you give them a call, not it's not a problem. Well, if anything changes and you decide not to go with them, don't hesitate to reach back out. We would love to service your property. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. And that's typically how I would handle that type of situation. I'm not interested in giving people uh, deals or specials, especially when they want to pin me against a competitor. They aren't my ideal customer and they can go find the other company and go with them. That's just my personal opinion. In the beginning, would I have offered uh, a deal or a special? Yep. Would I have caved? Yep. At this point in my business right now, I'm really just not interested in taking on the customers that are the bargain chopper and will nickel and dime me. It's not, not what I'm interested in. Now let's do a run through of how to not answer the phone what is probably not the best idea <sighs> hello yeah yeah this is the poop scooping company uh-huh. You're looking for a service? Uh, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hey, turn down the TV real quick. I'm on the phone with a customer. Sorry about that. These kids are wild. So wait, are you, where, what are you looking for? Where do you live? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could probably service you. What city do you live in? Canton? Okay. How many dogs do you have? Two? Okay. Uh, how big is your yard? You got a big old yard or a small yard? Is it messy? Oh, you got a small yard. Okay. And how long has it been since the last clean? Would you say like a couple couple days, couple weeks, couple months? It's been a couple months? Oh, that's nasty. You letting your dogs walk in that? Oh, no. No, I'm not here to judge you. No, no, I was just, you know, I'm glad that you call. I'm glad that you called so we can take care of that because I'm sure your dog doesn't appreciate walking in that. Do you have kids? Oh, your kids are walking in that too? Oh, you, you definitely, you definitely need our service. Okay, so for the first claim, that's going to be $80, eight zero. Oh, why is the price so high? We got a lot of dog poop back there, so we want to make sure that we get that taken care of. That's going to take a long time, and it's disgusting. Oh, the price is too high for you? Well, how about you go? No, I won't be dropping down the price. You have a lot of dog poop back there. No, nope. no, thank you. Okay, go find another company. Bye. Okay, so that is not a good way to handle a conversation. Um, I don't know who would actually handle a conversation like that, but <laughs> I'm not really too sure on how to ha have bad phone etiquette because I've trained myself to make sure that I have proper phone etiquette. I think the main things is when you are answering your phone, you always want to address who it is. Even if you're, if, even if I don't want to say my business name, I could say Erica speaking, Krupin's Poopin' Scoopin, how may I serve you? If you're stressed out and you're frantic and you're running all over the place, if you're in your truck and you're at a drive through it's probably not a good idea to answer your phone, then order food or frantically like, hello? Hello. Yeah, I'm just a little bit out of breath. I just want to make sure I got to the phone. What can I, what can I do for you? You don't want to do that. You want to... Crippin, Spoopin, Scoopin, Erica speaking. Yes, this is the Poop Scooping business. Yes, this is the Poop Scooping service. How may I help you? I have a couple questions to ask you. Blah, 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 blah. You want to seem as calm, cool, and collected as possible on that phone. Because if you seem frantic, they're gonna think that you got too much going on and you're not gonna do a good job. And if you're one of those people that get nervous when you answer the phone, it might be a good idea for you to write out a script 
exactly how you want to answer the phone and memorize it. So when people call you, you know exactly what you need to ask. All the questions that I ask, I ask that every single time because that's going to pre-qualify a customer, customer for me. If they say they live in an area that I don't service, I stop the conversation right there. If their yard's too big, I stop the conversation right there because I don't service large properties anymore. And if they don't want to pay my price, stop the conversation right there. I don't negotiate with them. I let them go to another company. All right, I hope you guys like this video. If you want me to go more in depth, if you want me to touch on some other things, drop that down in the comments. And as always, you guys, I really appreciate all your comments. I read through them. I appreciate the feedback. And I enjoy seeing what you guys do in your business. So make sure you drop that into the comments. And if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, come on now. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And until next time.